Pricing in SAP MM isn't just about numbers, it's about logic. Let's decode condition types, access sequences, and how pricing actually works in a purchase order. One, how does SAP determine prices in a purchase order? SAP uses a pricing procedure kind of like a recipe. It contains condition types like base price, discounts, freight, taxes, and applies them in a sequence to calculate the final price. Two, what are condition types exactly? Each condition type represents one element in the price. For example, PB00 for gross price, R, A01 for discount, FRA1 for freight. They define if the condition is manual or automatic, fixed or percentage-based, etc. Three, where does SAP pull condition values from? That's the job of the access sequence. It tells SAP which tables to search and in what order, for example, info record, contract, quotation. It's always assigned to the condition type. Four, how is the pricing procedure determined in a purchase order? SAP picks it based on the vendor schema group and purchasing organization schema group, which are linked in config. Then it applies the relevant calculation schema, pricing procedure, in the purchase order automatically. Five, can we create our own pricing procedure? Yep, here's how you do it step by step. Create condition tables, M slash 03. Create access sequences, M slash 07. Define condition types, M slash 06. Assign access sequences to condition types. Build your pricing procedure. Arrange all condition types in the right order. M slash 08. Finally, maintain condition records for each condition type. That's where the actual price data comes from, like vendor specific price, discount percent, etc. Without condition records, the whole pricing logic won't work in a purchase order. If this made it clearer, hit like, drop a comment if you've battled with condition records and follow for more.